Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome back to Mechanical Mastery. Uh, so, off camera, I did what I said, and I built the machines. Um, I've set everything up how I would like it. It's not ready yet, but I've just done the configuring, basically, um, and primed the drawers for the dust that will be generated. Um, now, what we need to do is we need to fill these holes in with basic EMC links. So, let's have a look at how we do this. So we need some barrels, which is gonna need some wood, uh, which we don't have any, so let's grow some trees. It's getting a little cramped over here. Um, I have expanded the island. I might start moving some stuff around again, because <laughs> I didn't think about it, but it is feeling a little bit difficult to move around. Um, oh, one more tree. Will you grow? Will you grow? And no, you won't. Cool, that's fine. Uh, let's make sure we grab all of these little drops while they're out and about. Okay, so we need four barrels. So let's convert all of this into this. Let's convert one, two, three, four, five. So that'll do, I think, right? We want four of you. Oh my god, we can make 15. We just need four, but we'll make a little bit more just in case. Um, got it. So that is the barrels done. We now need the invar plates, which I have done. Uh, I have done. Yes. Um, grab these bits. Uh, and then we need to make the conveyance powders. So this one is coal and gold. Do we have any gold? Uh, no, okay, so we need gold, and we need to break down a coal, that's fine, put that in there, let's break you down, oh, also, I did this down here, I realise I probably should have shown this off, I just wanted to be able to do the wiring, um, and I made a couple more dynamos just so we can probably power all of this, or attempt to at least, because there's a lot of machines, um, right, uh, so we want the gold, is that... Oh, we're still crushing. I decided to crush a load of redstone um, because I think we're eventually going to need a fair bit of it. So, just made sense at the time. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. You might also wonder why I'm deciding to do it this way. Uh, pulverize then into a redstone furnace rather than maybe just putting it into a... Um, induction smelter. But if I do it this way, one, it's way more even. Two, then I get the dusts rather than the um, ingots. And at the start, having lots of nickel and iron dust is probably quite useful for us. Um, it's a little bit more power intensive, but we can solve that fairly quickly, especially once we hit the second age. Um, which I technically think we can access all of those materials now because we have made... Uh, one um, iron and redstone, got it, that's fine. Because we've made one uh, of the mechanical essences already. And then charcoal, which we've already got plenty of, and cobble, which we can do here. Lovely, uh, let's clear that. So now we want to make four of you, because we do... One here, one here, one here, and then one here. Cool. So that is that. Now one thing we need to do is we need to make our presses. So I've already prepped the stuff for that. So we need two gear presses. And then with the quest, which we complete a lot of things, we'll take a rod press. And let's just complete all of these real quick. Lovely. So then we can say that this one is going to be, um, this one's going to be copper, and these two need, oh, these two need these. Perfect. Right. So now pretty much it is ready, besides we need pipes. So let's get glass, iron, redstone, stone. Um, so we need to make this which then makes, oh, we need copper. Do we have copper? Oh, we do have copper. Uh, and then we can make our first pretty pipe, which will give us 
plenty more pretty pipes. And now we can start to organize this. So let's do, let's grab the bauxite and set you up. Because I'm pretty sure if I'm correct, uses, when this is pulverized, it has a chance to produce iron, yeah. So then with the pipes, what we do is we do a pipe here and a pipe here. Then, oh, ooh, we want to put the, oh no, um, how do we access this? Plain hand, oh okay, plain hand. So we want to put a stack limiter in here, and we want to say maximum item amount, let's say four to start with, and then we want to put a low extraction here, and this should only allow four in, and then stop. Perfect. So that will allow four to continually go in. So now we need to make those limiters uh, again, because it only gave us um, a certain amount of those. So we need to do this. Then we need some of these boys. Oh, no, no, no. Let's do that. And then let's make four of you. Then we just need to make two of you. Uh, we might need more of those, actually. Um, but then we'll want two of you, and then we need more redstone, which we've already been prepping. Oh my god, so much redstone. Um, two of you. So now, we should be able to come over to our pipes again, and we should be able to do bingo bango, uh, limiter, which we need to adjust. So let's try and have an empty hand here. Uh, put this to four again, and then extract. Oh, but we need to set it to iron. Lovely. Uh, and then we need the last one to be set to copper. And now we can then go bang, bang. Uh, stack limiter first, because we don't want it sucking out tons of stuff. And that. And now we should be getting everything coming through slowly. It's probably killing our power. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, 1.2 million. We've actually got a fair bit. Uh, let's split this and try and keep us roughly running so we can at least uh, try and make one of these. Okay, so now we need another three extraction upgrades, which is going to need three of you. And we're going to want another one of you. And then that means we need four more. Ooh, four more of you, which needs more iron bits. Sure thing. Uh, so, one, two. What are we missing? More slabs. No problem. That is done. And then three, four. So we've got our four now. So now we can make three of you and one of you and then we can say uh, one two three four five six perfect amount we want to say no less than let's allow eight into here and then one two three and that will now all feed into here and then when we have the right ingredients it will produce that this will then press it is only allowing eight right yeah okay um that will then press it and in a matter of seconds in a matter of seconds we have automated and you see in the top corner it said plus seven thousand so now we're getting gold dust every so often uh, nickel dust every so often, and iron dust every so often. Nothing should be clogging up, and it's all going through nicely. We can now check our power and see, yeah, we are losing, obviously. We lost a thousand power just doing this, but, uh, I mean, it is what it is sort of thing. We need this line to be running, um, but we have technically now 
done everything bar making an induction smelter, which we will come back for. Because um, we will need eventually. But let's now say that we've done this and let's claim our new resources. The more expensive resources, it seems. But Netherrack is the one that I'm mostly after because I want uh, to be able to make magma generators like we spoke about. Uh, do you want to continue your path of automation? You need to create an industry. Okay, let's leave that for a second. Um, so remember, straight away, try and learn all of this. We will just actually probably just dump anything in our inventory that is EMCable. Um, let's just do this instead. It's probably the quicker way of doing it. Perfect. Um, so that is all learnt now. So if we get rid of this stuff for a second, uh, this stuff for a second, uh, that for a second, we still need to make the induction smelter. We can technically get rid of this and this because we have now automated and you can see we're getting a decent amount in. It's actually going quite smoothly. Who's lacking iron? Just slow, fair enough. Um, that's fine, nothing's really hindering. And our EMC is actually net positive. We are going up. The only thing we're gonna run out of soon is power. So let's try and work on this real quickly. Magma, so we want a magma crucible. Uh, we want the crucible and we want the dynamos. Um, Just trying to remember how I did this previously. Yes, I remember. That's fine. Um, so, we need a lot of invar for this. Do we have a lot of invar? We have some invar. These need invar, and this needs invar, right? Yeah, okay. So we need invar and tin. Tin we have of, so let's just get some tin cooking down. Although, do we have any tin in here? We do have one tin. Um, but we need iron and nickel, which technically, no nickel dust, but a couple iron dust, well, I mean, it's not enough, obviously. Um, so we want nickel, let's do that, and we can start to ooh, take a little bit more iron, let's do that, because I think it's two to one for invar. Um, so we need a lot of that, that's fine. While that's prepping, let's have a look at other things. Right, we need more iron. Oof. Oof. I really thought I prepped a lot of stuff in advance. But I definitely did not prep enough. How's our power doing? Ooh, it's going down heavily. Okay. Well, it's not the biggest issue. If the power runs out, we just stop getting EMC sort of thing. Like, we're getting enough in right now that we're going back up. So that's fine. Um, we're not relying on anything for power other than this, and if need be, we can always disconnect this line for a bit while we just run the pulverizer. Um, tin. So the tin is just to be able to make this, which needs cobble. Uh, so induction. Tin. We got a tin gear. Oh, no, 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 no. We want, we want it for this. You fool. Uh, then we need a little bit of you uh, to start smelting. We need... Oh, we've got glass on us. That's good. That's fine. Uh, then we just need the invar gears and the redstone flux coil, which again is going to need gold. Oh, we do have some gold dust. There you go. And we've not spent EMC on this. This is the, the nice thing about doing the dust approach. Let's, for a second, now that we're at 100,000, let's disconnect you guys, uh, which is quite easy. I just removed that. They'll all stop running in a second. Nothing else will happen, so it's no big issue. Uh, we can then do this. I think we need plenty of these anyway, actually. So let's just do that. Uh, what are we missing now? Invar gears and that. That's fine. Iron, nickel. Oh, we want to put the nickel in here as well. Do we have any extra nickel? No. Uh, but we can still start by doing this. Get some more invar going. Oh, no, 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 no. Not that. Uh, cool. And that will give us enough to now do this. So 
so that's our two of that. So we're just missing two Invar gears. What does this need? Just tons of Invar and iron. Yeah, fair enough. Um, part of me thinks we've definitely not asked for enough iron. Well, we've got seven here. We can... As long as we don't take all of them right now, because we don't have a key to be able to lock these drawers, we're always good. Um, do that. Lovely. Probably. Oh, well, that'll stop cooking soon anyway. Um, so we should have enough now to do the um, Magma Crucible, I think. Yes. Okay. So that will come down here. And it technically will go here. But we're going to leave it for a second. Because we'll just rebuild over here for now. Um, that will need some power. And it will also need another one of these basic EMC links. So we're going to need more uh, Invar, obviously. Uh, as this whole thing is about Invar. Uh, that's almost done. Maybe let's swap you guys out for a second. There we go. We've got some nickel dust. That's fine. But yeah, so the, I think the dust is the better approach than the um, the nuggets that you would get in my head. It works out a bit better to have the dusts accessible than like one nugget. Because a dust obviously is technically one whole ingot. Whereas a nugget you'd need nine transactions of it sort of thing. Yeah, this is all slowly dying. Slowly dying. You can slowly hear it quieting out. Yeah, copper doesn't need speeding up at all. It makes so many rods that we're pretty good. Um, we will need access to this multi-servo press, though. Let's grab you for a second. And just take you over here. And maybe do a little bit of something like this. Because I need to press um, two of these into plates so we can make another um, EMC link. We should have enough, I think. Almost. We need two more Invar, which we can definitely make now. Because we can do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. That is a lot of invar. Perfect. Um, put that in there. Uh, we need to cook this up, so let's put that in there. Um, EMC link is what we need. Just a basic one will do. And then what we do is we come down here. Let me in. There we go. And we actually want to... There we go. Place it here and have this pull in uh, from the bottom. Auto input, which is fine. We're getting there. We're getting there. This is going to be good power and infinite power as well. Um, one of these and one of these. Then... I think we put that there like so, and if we do this and this, and just send this up like that, um, we then need to do only one more thing, which is come over here and grab this. Then also we need to grab this, come down here, put you there, put you there, now you will start to power, then we want you to output on, oh wait, all sides. Um, let's disconnect you for a second from the main area, so you can power yourself up, maybe? No, you're not able to yet. Okay, let's leave you for a second. Um, let's let you build up a buffer. We need more of them, because they do. I think it needs more to support, basically. Which is a little bit annoying, but that's fine. Uh, once we can, once we upgrade these, they'll become a lot more reliable. Um, 
We need two more of you, technically. Um, and then we're just missing the gold. We have one gold. Uh, let's just chuck you in here with you for now. This is getting there, though. This is getting there. This is this is the best way to do power in this, I've found, is lava. Um, because you can start to upgrade it pretty heavily. Um, that should be enough for us to make one. And then we need our one more gold, don't we? Yeah. Well, let's, let's come down for a second. Oh, wow. It was still running up until just now. It's just stopped. You can hear it. Nope. Uh, you need to be placed like that. Lovely. There we go. There we go. Now it's running. Because this uses 80, and these produce 40 apiece. So this can now support these two. And then we can make one more. Uh, once we have one more gold... We shouldn't have any gold in there. So once we've got this one gold here, we'll make one more, and then we should be making 40. And then all we need to start doing is using the... Is it kits? Oh, kits? No. Um, then if we can make even one of... Oh, it'll be around here. One of these, which I think we can make one of those now, probably. Missing one glass. I mean, that is a very small thing to be missing. We can get the glass. Um, cook this gold up. Because then basically with these kits, we double the output. So they'll all be 80. So then one supports the whole thing and the other two are bonus. Which is much better than the... Um, I think like 30 or something, or less than 30, that is produced by a coal one. Um, so we do this, then we take this downstairs, place you here, hook you up, wait for you to get full, there we go, and then bang. Now this runs the system, because these generate enough power to basically cover this and everything else. Um, we can actually do this now to try and ease the pressure off of these guys. Oh, I thought that stopped running. Okay. So now all we need to do is basically make these upgrades. Once we can make these upgrades, um, we're golden. Three sand. That's the start of what we need. Uh, we also need a couple more of these to be made. Um, which is fine, actually, because they're not outputting right now. So that is great. So we've got two. If we could make four, we could upgrade the whole system down there, which would be quite nice. Uh, we want this to go back in, basically. And process. Uh, if we can get one more of these. We need a little bit more redstone. Where did all my redstone go? Didn't we have tons? What? Oh, it's here. Oh, panic. Panic over. I was like, what? It's all gone. All of my hard work. Uh, we need more invar, which we need to cook. That's fine. Uh, we can't... Oh, we can make another one. There we go. So we made two. So what we'll do is we'll upgrade this and this for now. Energy used 160, but this produces 80. Um, and it will produce more lava faster. Um, so we need this one to be upgraded next. Which needs another one of these boys. We've got two here, so that should all be the ones we need, actually. Um, six there. One sand. Can we stop this now and just allow this to process gravel into sand for me, please? Please and thank you. And this is pretty much how our power will start to be uh, processed, is by doing um, lava, because it's infinite and wonderful. 
so once we've got our two glass from here, we can upgrade the other two downstairs and then we'll be producing 8, 16, 32, which half of it admittedly goes into the machine, but the other half of it is free power. Um, which is infinite rather than having to like do what we're doing now, which is stocking up on coal, um, which sucks. There we go. That one's now got more buffer. And we can, of course, upgrade them with like other augments and stuff, but this is the, the best way I've seen it working. If anything, we could probably try and take you out, put you there, and then this should be able to keep up. And then we're only using 80, which is one of them powering it, and the other two is 160 of free power, basically. Yeah, let's do it like that. So now what we'll do is we'll replicate this basically again back here to replace all of this and then we'll be good basically. Uh, what we can even do is take you out, pop you off there, put you here, and now that is our buffer which generates much better than this being over here. And we can probably even just tear these down. How much do they produce? 40. Yeah, I mean... But they're 40, which is fine. Like, it's the same as the lava one without the upgrade. But I had to keep feeding them. This one perpetually feeds itself. Lovely. You can't put one on the front, though, which is a bit annoying, because this face isn't configurable. So, it's what it is. It would be nice if you could. But now, this is all running. So, technically, I can come back over here and grab this for a second. Uh, yep, yeah. and put you back over here where you belong, put you uh, in, input, output, done. And that will be us generating EMC, and we should be indefinitely generating EMC now, because this system should just run. Um, it's slow, and of course we can eventually upgrade it, but it's getting there, they'll slowly back stuff. Um, because we only allow four in, uh, eight in at a time sort of thing. So it will slowly start to back stuff. We just maybe need to speed these guys up a little bit. But we're already above, I think, our previous maximum amount of mana that we've ever had. So I think that's pretty good. Um, we could smelt some sand down. Uh, we, we've got the ability to make one more upgrade, basically, is what I'm thinking. Uh, and tends to be that al aluminium does fine. So maybe we speed up this pulverizer. Although, it will then drain more power. It's using 20 right now. So wait, do these all use 20? 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, uh, 20, 20, 20. So basically it's 6, 12, 18... Uh, then this is 20 and this is 20 so 22 and we're generating 160 so we're definitely still in a net loss although it's gaining which is a little weird but I would have presumed net loss but that's fine because um, what this is 80 80 160 oh no because we make oh so we're actually making 200 so it's a very small net loss. And if one machine stops running for a little bit, like, I don't know, this one, which isn't always running, or this one, which isn't always running, we're actually technically gaining, I guess. So basically, if we can make more, um, a couple more of the lava generators, or one more, we can start to upgrade this. So that's probably what I'll end up doing off camera, because we're done for today. That was another thrilling episode recorded. So off camera, what I'll do is I will basically process all of that and all of that. But I guess technically only half of this. Um, because we don't need a full thing. Um, we'll take the flint and chuck that in there, sure. Um, and that will give us tons of invar to be able to make more... Um, more of the magma generators basically and then once we can double down on this system over here we will then have a net gain of power of i think 
somewhere in the realm of about 200, at which point we can start to apply upgrades up here to make these guys run faster, and then we can start to look at doing some more of this stuff. Oh, see, look, I reckon if we do this, wait. Oh, it will give us one if we just have one on us. Do we have one on us? We've made one. Oh, it knows. Oh, it gives us loads of invar. Okay. Well, uh, wait, does it also want us to make a magma crucible? Which we've made. So let's just go down here. It's going to be a bit of a dumb thing to do, but just for the sake of doing it, let's do that. And then let's do that just for the sake of doing it. We wasted a bit of lava there, but we get a free upgrade kit, which I think is pretty worth it. Um, and that's basically what we've been doing today anyway. So we've completed a couple of our quests and we are good to go. So thank you very much for watching today and I will see you guys in the next one.